please rise for the pledge of the... The intro to introduction to Podcast But Outside episode 130. Whoa! We recorded this in front of the White House in Washington, D.C. with our friend Lyle the Therapy Gecko. Wow! You I, I remember. Yeah, you remember. You might know him from TikTok and social media. Really funny, nice guy. And it was awesome for him to give advice with us to people on the streets. He was also at our live show in D.C. Yes, later that night. And that is available on Patreon. The full hour and a half live show will be on Patreon this week, starring Lyle the, the Therapy, Therapy Gecko. Gecko. Check that out. Hey, Andrew, don't you, aren't you somewhere cool th today? <laughs> now, I, last night, I, well, it hasn't happened yet for us, but for you guys, it is last night. I did stand-up comedy on James Late Late Show with James Corden. This is the talk show guy. That's British, yes. And I did comedy. Hopefully it went great. And if you want to watch that set, please do. It would mean a lot. Just search YouTube for Andrew Michonne Corden or click the link in my Instagram bio. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe say, like, this Andrew guy is so funny and perfect. He should direct the next Marvel film. If there's a lot of comments like that, maybe Marvel will see it. Is that your dream? Yeah, I did. I, I was. I got into stand up so I could direct the next Marvel film. Whoa. Yeah. So please watch that set. It means a lot. It would mean a lot if you watch it and then make that comment. Speaking of stand up, Andrew, don't you have a New Year's Eve comedy show that you do every year in, <laughs> in Oakland, Oakland, California? California. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be on New Year's Eve at the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland. RRFilms.com for tickets. That'll probably sell out soon. It's a really great lineup of comedians. The theme song this week is by P.J. Butler. Hey, Peach. It's a blues song. It's really, really good. And he has a new album that just came out called Seriously Delirious. Mm. You can check it out on all streaming platforms. Search for PJ Butler. Thank you, PJ, for making this song. Thanks, PJ. You know what I call PJ Butler? I call him a P Pajama. Butt. Oh, what? Yeah, I call him P Butt for short. I don't call him that at all. I huh. call him, um, I call him a friend. Oh. Thanks for watching listening to this episode. It's a really, 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 really good one. White House, Biden, Trump. Well, I heard you like a podcast. Open mics and open minds. Yeah. If you like listening to podcasts, check out the podcast, but outside. Come on. They pay you a dollar, holler from the street. Overshare a story, stickers your receipt. Hey, you wanna talk? You wanna just keep it brief? And we call an intern. Podcast and done at the Clee. Hello. Hello. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Podcast, podcast but, outside. but Outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew Michon. My name is President oh, yes. Barf. And if you never heard or watched the show before, the point of the show is for President Barf and I to set up this table. On uh oh. A what? Oh, someone fell on a segue. Oh, brother. Oh, no. That's not good. Someone fell on a Segway tour and is not getting up. Uh, I, I, oh, they're moving. They're moving. Let's let's. Okay. Let's, I don't want to film them anymore, but they definitely fell. Uh, if you never heard or watched the show before, the point of the show is for President Barf and I to set up this table on the sidewalk and interview random strangers who happen to be walking by. We normally do it in Los Angeles where we live, but we're on the road right now doing it around the country, and we're here in Washington D.C. in front of the White, White House. House. Um, this is where. The president, yeah, come talk to us. This is where the president lives, um, or so I've heard. And we are here in front of the White House. We're basically surrounded by police and Secret Service. It is unclear if we're allowed to be here, but we have a loophole. Yes, uh, we, we figured if anyone tries to shut us down, we can tell them that this is our First Amendment right to speak Protest. Protest. And because this is a protest. protest. This is no longer a podcast. This is a protest. And we are protesting all the other podcasts being inside. And we're also protesting all the podcasts that are more popular than ours. Yeah. So what we're in protest of any podcast that's more successful than us. And that is actually really important to us, right? Because mm -hmm. remember, you were saying like all the issues in this country, and that's a pretty big one. Yeah, all the issues is like there's so many big podcasts yes. that aren't us. Yes, and it's really sad, right? Yeah. The only unfortunate thing about where we are right now is that there's a giant barrier. <laughs> come, come say hi. Come, come, come. There's a giant barrier behind Cam. If you want to look at that, Cam. So the problem is, it, uh, was a cop. Oh, Looking hey. Straight up. The problem is anyone hey, who. Guys, we're hey. closing the whole avenue down, so you have to pack up your stuff and move. Okay. Oh, you're closing the avenue down. Yep. Oh, why is that? Protective reasons. Protective reasons? Did we do something wrong? You did not do something oh, okay. wrong. Okay. Okay. Where's the? You guys did something wrong when it said because of something you guys. Sure. Did. Okay. Where's the closest? That, can we can we be on in there? Where's the closest we can be? So anywhere you want, besides that way or where you're at right now. You can go into the park. Okay, you can go so we there. Can be, oh, we you can, can even go to the Capitol. Baltimore Aquarium is very nice. Sure, sure. We want to be in front of the White House, but we can be like where you're at now, yeah, kind that's of. Fine. 
That's okay. fine. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank we appreciate, you. It. appreciate it. Thanks for letting us know. Wait, should I ask if we can move over? It's in protest as well. Yeah. We're protesting all the podcasts that are more popular. Ours is great, I know, but there are some that are more popular, and we're protesting those. Right. All right, we're going to move uh, 10 feet that way because they're closing the whole avenue down for some reason. For security Maybe reasons. We'll get to see what happens behind us. We'll get to see why. Yeah, so, so I guess tune in right now. Okay, so we're back. They uh, shut down the entire street. Everyone's gone except for the cops. There's a sniper on the roof. Really? Two of them. Three of them. Four. Three. Two. One there. One there. One there. Beautiful. And you know what's crazy is this is the first time we've been asked to move and it actually is an upgrade. It's true. <laughs> it's much easier to get guests now and also it might be easier for the snipers to take a shot at us, uh -huh. which is an upgrade. Or harder because we're further away. Oh, well, I mean, it depends on what you want. I was more interested in getting sniped. But yeah, um, yeah this is a better, this is an upgrade. It's a better location. We were going to set up here originally, but then we thought, oh, they'll surely shut us down. But the reality is that is not the truth. That's true. Okay. People we, are uh, excited, and we have a special guest who's going to join us for, I think, the whole dang episode. That's right. Yeah, it's our friend Lyle, Lyle the, the Therapy, therapy Gecko. Gecko. Fr from Hello. The, from hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you? Wow! Wow! I can't believe uh, you're here. What's I up? I can't believe I'm here. This is this is cool. Where are you? I heard you guys got kicked out. Yeah, yeah. But just from ten feet that way, but it's actually an upgrade. Yeah. There's two things about the podcast today. Yeah. One is that we are a protest. If if anyone tries to shut us down, oh, we're okay, doing sure. this in protest. So what are we protesting? The podcasts that are more popular than ours. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll think, join you guys in yeah. solidarity with well, that. I, think, I don't know. I think I might include you. Do you consider your show a podcast? I don't even look at the stats. You know, I just do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. So um, so we're that's protesting all this. <laughs> we're protesting all the shows that are more popular than us, and we also have an in, in case they do actually try to shut us down. We're gonna say that Joe Biden's granddaughter follows us on TikTok. Does yeah. she follow you on TikTok? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that is our That's in. That's a flex. So yeah. Maisie Biden, oh, someone texted us there. Someone like DM'd us and told us this. But Maisie Biden does follow us on TikTok. So if they do try to shut us down, that is not okay, actually. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. D she doesn't, does she have a lot of authority? She must have some sort of power. Uh, over liking uh, our yeah. videos, yeah. She can like them yeah. whatever she wants. Like legislatively. I'm like sure. comments, she can comment on yeah, the videos and sway people to like like it or not. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you mean by legislative? No, I mean like is there something like written in the like book of like the law that says the president's daughter oh, gets to like do something. If she follows you on TikTok. Right. Yeah, something like that written in <laughs> Well, we like, should definitely stone. that's another yeah. protest of ours is that that should be I written in the law. Yeah. yeah, I think it gives us immunity. If anyone in the Biden right. family follows us. You want to sit down? All right. All right. Oh, yeah, I like this guy. We'll get into you, uh, Lyle. And just, just, uh, f yeah. Nah, I'm for, sick of uh, me. Well, I'll introduce him to him. Yeah. Well, you'll introduce him. What's your name? Bless. Bless? Bless. How do you B spell that? Uh, B B L A S. Oh. B L A S. Where are you from? Okay. Um, Peru. Oh, Peru. Peru. Oh. Do you know alpacas? Yeah, of course. I, of course, I know alpacas. We oh. spoke to someone last night who owns uh, eight alpacas. Seven. They own eight Seven. alpacas in in DC, and they rent them out for people. How? I, I oh. don't know. Her name is Andrea. She's really wild. Bless. This is uh, Lyle, the therapy gecko. Bless. It's nice to meet you. Hey. Uh, he gives advice to people on the online. He has a show where people call in, and they uh, they tell them his problems. He's like a therapist. Nice. Do you have any nice. problems, Bless? You seem like a carefree guy. Right. Um, I'm not, but I have three turtles, and I'm trying to get rid of them. Ooh. Why are you trying to get rid of them? What do they do to you? They That's try like and bite my toes. Oh, those are like your cousins, yeah. right? <laughs> Sorry, we're we're quasi related. I think they're are turtles amphibians or reptiles. Uh, Come on, you should know this. Reptiles. Okay. Okay. So I thought like, they were amphibians. Why do you why do you have three? Um, cause we gifted one. Cause we had four. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Then real new question. Why did you have four <laughs> turtles? <laughs> uh, I I don't know. They just like kind of appeared there, okay. and they were getting under the car, and we kind of ran over them and broke the hull call it the I'm not shell sure. the shell yeah oh no so then you were like we have to raise them i mean what do you mean raise them well you took them in after you broke their shell no no that was after we took them in Wait, oh you took them in and then broke their yeah, shell. yeah and for some reason turtles love to hide beneath the wheels of the car oh i feel you could give them away to the aspca i feel like they would gladly take those turtles in for me or the dmv i don't know any united states is this in per or the peru is this is this in <laughs> is this in Peru? All the, all the <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I ask? You said they were biting your toes, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Why why are they near your toes? I mean, <laughs> I guess they're short because they're short. Because what? I, if I had a turtle, I'd like keep it in a cage at like no no torso you, level. 
You would? You would do that to your cousins. <laughs> okay, don't you just ran over them with your car. <laughs> don't look at me like that. But I mean they're in the garden. They're just like there, walking around. Yeah, you don't th- put them in a cage. I just think you need to get rid of them ASAP. I don't trust you with them. <laughs> right. So, huh. What are your options for getting rid of them? Haven't really thought about it. There's just three of us. Yeah. <laughs> Putting yeah, it in reverse send again. Send one. Do you know that my brother has a turtle? Uh, like a turtle? Like a water turtle? No, or just like a turtle. End of the story. No, my brother mm. has a turtle, and he recently moved to Hawaii. Mm. And he used a service. I forget the exact name of it. I think it's called shipyourreptile.com. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What? Where he shipped the turtle. That's how U- I got here today, <laughs> actually. Yeah. He shipped the turtle via UPS. I'm 100% not kidding. Yeah, they give you, like, a package, and it's got, like, all the safe stuff that you need, and it says, like, live amphibian this side up or whatever. Really? And you ship you ship your turtle. He shipped it from the mainland to Hawaii. Wow. I've always wondered how, because I know that they, like, ship out, like, animals. And stuff. I always wonder how they don't die. Right. Well, let me just see. Um, um, look, I'm sorry. I think I have to go. Oh, no. Last. Last. Yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, Can I take a picture with you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, here, we also have to give you a dollar, a sticker, and a flyer to our show tonight. Oh, nice. Um, but this is all the information. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank Great. you, Blast. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much Be well. Thank you, Blast. Yeah, of course. Take care. Is this your friend? That's my brother. Brother. It looks like your brother, actually. Nice to meet you. So you have, to go. have a great trip. Okay. Safe travels. Don't run over him with your car. <laughs> yeah. Or do. Um, we don't know their relationship. It's yeah. true. Uh, for the listeners, forgot to say, uh, Lyle the Therapy Gecko is... Uh, he's a literal gecko. He's dressed in a. Uh, uh, he has a. He's a giant gecko. Shipyourreptiles.com. Use coupon code PBO. I wish. Yeah. And then he was able to run over to it with his car immediately in Hawaii. Oh, that's great. That yeah. is great. Every turtle's dream. So you give therapy advice on Twitch and also like a phone call. Or how yeah. Does it work? Oh, I, I'm trying to get rid of the therapy moniker. Oh, you don't, oh, really? oh, really? A little, well, a little bit, because I, you know, I feel like uh, I'm, I feel like it's more of a chat show. I want to be gecko chat, because oh. I'm like, because mm. I want to chat with people without, you know, any expectations of, and because I don't know anything about but I the think world, that's, you know? I, I kind of like the therapy angle, because I think it's almost implied that you as a gecko are not going to give good advice. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of like it, because it's like, if you're stooping to a level where you're expecting to get good advice from someone in a right. in a gecko costume, it's like you're not gonna. Right. So yeah. I like the right. therapy, angle, but but you do whatever you do you. No, I pr- no because my whole thing is about setting low expectations, like as low as possible. Right. I think they're low. Or, you know, so you could, that you could also chase the alliteration angle and go gecko gossip. Gecko gossip. Well, I don't like uh, go- I feel like gossip is like it's mean spirited. You know, mm. like talking bad about mm-hmm. people. You know. Yeah, but I would love to like call in and shit on all my friends. Do you have any gossip you want to share with me? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, brother. Hey. Brother time. I oh, thought brother. he had to go. I thought yeah. he had to go as well. I convinced him to wait a bit. Oh, he cool. What's your name? Uh, Anton. Anton. Oh, they're like speaking in the microphone, Anton. Oh, okay. So you're from Peru as well? Yeah, as well. So how old is he, and how old are you? He is 18. I am 15. What's the deal with the turtles? What do you what do you like did you were you involved in any of that turtle killing or maiming? I mean He's 15, he can't drive, right? Um maybe he well, can. Well, maybe it's just different in well. Peru probably. Yeah, that's true. For legal reasons, I wasn't involved. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, we got you. Uh do you have do you, are you in a relationship? Um with the turtles? No, just with the romantic s- partner. Anyone at school? Human? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you believe in love? Human? Human yes, love. Human. Oh, maybe. Well, I mean, I guess love, love, do you think animals can love? Can you love? I can love. Can you love me? I think I can love you, not romantically, because I don't know you very well, but I can love you as, like, another human being on this earth at this sort of specific random time, you know? I think I, I can love you in that sense. Thank you. Wait, Cam, can you just get a sense of how surrounded you are by tourists right now? And, like, the funny thing is none of them can take a good picture of the White House because, because we're, right, we're in right in the center, which yeah. I think is awesome. I, I was trying to take pictures. Oh, and then, mm-hmm. yeah. We're, do, we're doing this in protest as well. Oh, yeah. 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 We don't want anyone to have a good photo. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's not a right. It's, <laughs> it's a privilege, not a right. There's a lot of things we're protesting. Hey, thanks for sitting down. Here's a dollar I'll sticker a dollar. and a live show we have tonight. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Be well. They ran. Actually, they did have to go because they're both they're running like full <laughs> speed. <laughs> I think they actually <laughs> really did have to leave because they are just running. Hey, how are you? We'd love for you to be on, yeah, sir. Yeah, please. Andrew, should we take a break from the president house to thank our sponsors? Yes, and our sponsor is President Biden. No, no, no. No president. Actually, not a president at all. Blue, Blue Lands. Land. Did you know that an estimated 5 billion plastic hand soap and cleaning bottles are thrown away each year? Yeah, most of that was me. 
Well, you should stop doing that because it's bad for my best friend, Mother Earth. Okay. And start doing good with Blue Land. Well, that's what I've been doing since they've been sponsoring us. That is true, actually. I've been using it for years and years myself. No, no, um, no contest. Cap. I'm no, no cap, no cap, no contest. I'm winning. Hashtag Tiger Blood. Blue Land was founded on the belief that a cleaner planet starts at home. It's a simple idea. Buy the bottle once, refill it forever. No more plastic waste. These are great products. They're sitting on our table right now. This is a beautiful glass cleaner. This is a bathroom cleaner. Right here, we got some dish soap. We got some... Laundry detergent. Laundry detergent. And then these are automatic dishwasher tablets. And then... The uh, multi-surface Multi-surface cleaner. Cleaner. All this stuff smells great. It looks nice. You can Instagram these bottles. That's what they say. They're very Instagram. They're very, oh, Cole keeps posting them. It's crazy. And instead of buying a new plastic bottle, you just get a refill tablet or powder or whatever and then fill it up at home yourself. I just reordered a bunch of new hand soap from them. Blue Land's stunning, high quality forever bottles start at just $10 when you buy a kit and are meant to be reused forever with money saving refill tablets that start at just $2. And it also feels like you're kind of doing like a science experiment. Oh, really? You put the, drop the tablet in the water and watch it dissolve. I felt like Einstein. So cut the plastic waste without sacrificing clean. Get Blue Land. You'll love it and the planet will thank you. I've used this stuff for years. It's really awesome. Please join the Blue Land community. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you go to blueland.com slash outside. That's 15% off your first order of any products Blue Land orders at blueland.com slash outside. Blueland.com slash outside. Get it now for yourself and your family. Clean away. Bombus's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this holiday, when you gift Bombus to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give, give. I love to give and I love to give. Yes, Bombus designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. I eliminated every other sock I own. They are dead now because Bombus socks are so comfortable that they sent us some free ones. I used them, loved them, bought a bunch more with my own money using our code and then now all my socks are Bombas because they're just better than any other socks I've ever worn. Bombas are great. Their slippers are great too. Yeah, I'm excited to, or I'm gonna order some underwear. I haven't worn underwear yet in life and I'm excited to try these as my first pair. Whoa, Bombas going to be the first pair to touch your Bombas. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, grapefruit and even cashmere which wait grapefruit oh no i added that in sorry which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers not made from grapefruit sorry that's something else that's grapefruit i was thinking of bombas are the coziest gifts for everyone on your list and thanks to their festive gift box you don't even have to wrap them all you do is the giving socks underwear and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters in that order that's why bombas donates one for every item you buy that really is a great way that this company is giving back. Go to bombas.com slash outside and get 20% off your first purchase. That's, That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash outside for 20% off. Bombas.com slash outside. They're really great products. Check them out. Helps the show. Helps people in need because they donate. Let's get back to Biden's um, apartment. Um, his shag pad. Hey, just uh, put these on, or you don't oh, have to, but... I, yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, so how I are you? Them. What's I'm your name? I'm doing fine. My name's Marty. 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 So we, um, for the listeners, you have a sign that says, Hate Won't Make America Great. Exactly. And it's around your neck. And are you here often with that I sign? I come here four or five times a week for oh, about wow. three hours at a pop. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, and is this is this about the current president or about Trump? It started out about Trump. Okay. Mm. Uh, about three and a half years ago, um, my feeling was that make America great again by being prejudiced, not allowing immigrants, being against black people. Mm -hmm. Those are the ways I feel that his supporters sure. were going. Yeah. Sure. And as a result, I couldn't stand it. Sure. And what has the reaction been to you doing this? It's great. Cool. Yeah. I get a lot of people, you know, this area, that's why I picked this area. It's yeah. perfectly safe because the Secret Service is protecting the president and all of us sure. right. and, the, and the park police and the D.C. police. You probably wish they weren't doing such a great job of oh, protecting no. the last president, though, huh? Well, no, I don't wish that. Okay. I frankly don't. Okay. Uh, you that. know, because if you start on slippery slopes, sure, sure. you that's never fair. can stop. That's fair. That, okay. That's why. I mean, not sure, that sure. I love that man. I understand. Uh, so, so you felt safe coming here? I feel safe coming here. This draws people from all over the world. The first mm. year I was doing it, I kept a, a, 
an atlas I have and checked off the countries. It was like over 80 countries. Wow. People from over 80 countries had stopped to see me. Wow. And I really just love that idea. And not only do they look at my sign and talk to me, but I get a chance to talk to them and yeah. I really enjoy it. So I don't get the negative and I get all the positive people that say right. thank you for doing it. I'm not a believer, but people say, God bless you for doing it. Mm -hmm. And people from all over who, who are from red, blue people from red states come up to me and say, oh, thank you for doing that. I wish I could. Oh, wow. Now that Trump's out, what is this sign? Well, I am example? still frustrated by the way the country is moving. Mm -hmm. uh, and because I am, and I have very few meaningful outlets, mm. Uh, this is something I had done before. Have you ever had a conversation with someone where you've maybe been able to change someone's mind? I, I wish, mm. but I'm old enough, maybe smart enough to realize that mm. when you're an adult mm. and you have formed your opinions over your 20, 30, 40, 50 years, mm. some old guy with a sign, mm. no matter how eloquent he might be, mm. is not going to change your mind. Mm. Have, have you been politically active for, for your whole life? Not my whole life. My mom and dad, my mom and dad were childhood immigrants, mm. so they valued this country in a way I frankly can never value it. Wow. Mm. From where? It was where from, from my mom from Moldova, if mm. you know that it's near, it's part of Romania, yeah. and my dad from Belarus. Mm. Mm. They came as children and met here, oh, wow. but they were both very. My mom, uh, my my dad was barely literate. My mom was very active in local politics in New York, in the mm. Bronx, where I was from. Did you grow up speaking Russian at all? No. Nah. Mm. They were so mm. overly cautious sure, sure, sure. not to have me have some kind of accent Aww. or wow. tainting. Wow. What did you do in life for work? Are you retired I, now? I, I am retired. I worked for the Navy Department. Oh. They sent me through school um, to get a chemistry degree. Um, <laughs> since you've been doing this... Uh, with the sign. Oh, wait, how, how long did you say? How long? Three and, and a half years, years minus okay. over a year because okay. they closed this down. Right. Uh, have you ever been physically assaulted? No. And that's, in fact, as I left the park for a break a little earlier, I passed one of the selective, uh, the uh, Secret Service uniform police. And I asked him why this fence was up. This isn't always up. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So I asked him why it was up, and he said, I don't know. Where does he leave when he leaves the White House? Is there a back entrance? There's a, there's not a, it's not a back entrance. The Underground. White House always talks about two front entrances. Okay. The helicopter pads on the other sure, side. Sure, sure. And that's the normal place for him to leave because you can't get this close right. on the other side. Okay, understood. Have you ever seen him, like, walking around? Never. What about Maisie, what? his granddaughter? No. No. Uh, no. I used curious. to say, I didn't even know he had a granddaughter. Yep, Maisie. he does. Who knows that? I, does. I, I know went, When I stood here during the Trump era, and I would always face the whatever crowd there was from the fence, but if we were, if if if, if, if any limo passed by, I turned my back to it. <laughs> uh -huh. Guaranteed oh, not to it's see oh, Trump. interesting. Guaranteed not to see him. Wow. I, you know, some people put their finger up and do stuff. I wouldn't do that to the President of the United sure, States. Sure, sure, sure. But I'd be damned you, if I'd set my eyes on him. him. Um, are you married? I was divorced twice, but I've been with the same woman now, not married, because I learned my lesson mm -hmm. for 36 years. Okay. So wow. essentially married. She's okay with not getting married. Yeah, that was the deal. Mm -hmm. That right. was the deal. She's never been married, and I thought that was a, a kind of a, nice. a, a veto on whether our relationship could continue. We had the most serious talk anybody's ever had about, look, I'm not getting married, but I love you. Uh, and we don't live together. We live in mm, separate places. For 36, 36 years. years. That's the other thing. Nobody can live with me. I know that. <laughs> Why? Why divorces. do you think that is? I am uh, the most unreasonable person about the most petty things. <laughs> oh, are you very anal about it? Uh, like, yeah, you're I don't like freak? to put labels on myself, but okay. that's probably not a bad one. Uh, okay. No, I'm, I am to the world. The people we know, my family, our good friends, they would say, hey, Marty's great. What a nice guy he is. Mm -hmm. No living with him. Marty um, knows that. So, so what type of stuff? Give yeah, us some examples. Like well, I have a great deal of comfort in knowing that when I put something down, it stays, stays where there. I put it. Ah. Sure. I am not a big hunter-gatherer. Yeah. Mm. I like to know this stuff is there. Yes. And it's, it, it, I'm going to make myself sound crazier than I really am. But the truth is, because I can tolerate that if somebody visits me and they pick up the newspaper and they throw it on the floor, I'm okay. I'm not crazy that way. But day in, day out, I was married seven year, five years to the first wife and about six to the second wife. And... Uh, they just kind of, nobody walked out crazy and hit me with an axe or anything. 
but we both agreed at the end, all, four, all three of us <laughs> agreed at the end of those relationships that it just doesn't work for a person like me. Mm. Was it hard to find someone who was cool with being together well, for 36 years but not living together? Well, I had a delightful time in my late 30s and early 40s looking yeah. because I was marketable. I'm not a bad looking guy or in a good living or into good living and uh, I'm very pleasant. <laughs> so I dated very I nice agree. people and that was a revelation. When I was a kid, I, the second person I ever had sex with, I married, wow. you know? Mm. And it was really nice to be able to have deep sex. relationships with people, including sexual relationships, sure. but deep relationships with people where I got to know families and we got to travel together without saying this is forever. Right. And have you ever had sex with someone that you weren't in love with? Yeah. And was was how much better is it when you're in love with them? Oh, there's to me, to me, and this is very personal. I'm not going to moralize about it sure, for sure, like sure, the sure, general sure. young population for you. and the people who are on whatever kind of things you go on to have quick sex. Oh yeah. Uh, Yelp. I would have done that if I had a chance, but uh, to me, the difference between caring about a person and not caring about a person sure. makes all the difference. Mm. I mean, there's, you know, and, and when I say I wasn't in love with, I really didn't know I was never going to be in love with them. Sure, sure. It's just that in the days didn't. when I was dating, after my second divorce, uh, it was natural to have sex with somebody right after you met them. Basically, mm -hmm. you'd probably go out once. Sometimes, uh, mostly I knew people through work or some kind of affinity group volunteering. So I knew them. Mm -hmm. And then you go out with them, well... What are you, you going to do? Wait until your mommy says it's okay? I mean, these are grown women. Yeah. I was a grown man. So we did that. And occasionally, cool. and I really can only think, it's a Hell funny yeah. question, I only think of a couple of times where I had sex with people and later found out I really didn't like them. Uh, right. I didn't know that. At sure. the time. So, at the, so at the time you had sex with them, you thought I, you were I liked in love them with a lot. Them. You yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. a funny you know, I'm with this woman that I'm with now for 36 years. I love her. Yeah. And is, it, is the sex still good? No. No, it's not. Really? Yeah, I'm 79 years old, and I am just not the great perf great performer. Jesus, I'm not any kind of performer, and she is uh, physically not well, and that has faded terribly. But the caring we have for each other and the involvement hasn't faded. Wow. And is this something you're both on the same page about? Yeah. Yeah, you've talked, you've yeah, talked about are. this? Yeah, we are. We've talked about it as it gradually erodes. Um, and kind right. of mourned it. Sure. Would you ever consider like an open relationship in which the idea that you know yeah. you know like uh, the idea that like you have a partner that satisfies one set of needs and a partner that satisfies the other? Well, first the two. One is a philosophical. You know, sure. Theoretically, yes, I completely agree. If if two people can make a, have a relationship mm -hmm. where they both agree to that. Horses? They've just been circling. Wow. Oh, wow. Weird. Yeah, I they're we here. It's a that. pony ride. No, it's not a pony <laughs> ride. Uh, but yeah, if two people can agree on that, I've got no issue with it. But when Janet and I got together, Janet and I had were volunteers together, the woman I'm with now. Yeah. Uh, we were volunteers together, knew each other very well. Yeah. And we first decided to seriously date. Uh, we looked, we had a the big dinner, <laughs> the big dinner at a place called Terraza in Alexandria. It's, I don't cool. think it's there anymore, expensive mm. restaurant. And we looked at each other and said, we got to have some rules. We're not going to get married, so we don't have society's rules. We got to have some rules. You're like, major, rule number one, don't touch my stuff. Well, <laughs> no, no, she doesn't live with me. Right. Know, so, but still. The, no, the number one rule was your house, your rules, okay. my house, my rules. Okay. And who's, who's at whose house more often? Do you, go to, do you go to her place more often? I'll always her place because always. I retired very early. Okay. Uh, and I retired when I was 44. What? That's How'd you do that? I'm a genius. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah. I did you lie about your out. age or something? No, I just lucked out. Uh, okay. Well, what's, what's, get, what's your net worth? My net worth? <laughs> I guess, should I tell you? Nah, I don't feel. No, I don't, don't feel jealous. Yeah. I don't live off my net worth. I live off a of government, government pension, okay. which wow. isn't okay. very generous, but I'm very economic. You make it work. Um, so, so okay, so you're 44. You're you're setting the ground rules. Right. My place, set, my stuff. Right. Whatever. Right. We set the, we set the ground rules. Uh, so my place, my stuff. Exclusivity. Mm, if you important. want to have a relationship with anybody else while we're together, there must be total honesty. Mm. We didn't rule okay. out the idea Interesting. that if either of us decided we wanted that, that we wouldn't do it and talk about it. 
but it had no clandestine any sure, sure, sure. because you can't have a relationship of with somebody not. you're not telling the truth to yeah. and that's an implicit truth in yeah. any relationship yes and uh, far as i know i know for myself sure. i've completely kept my word mm -hmm. i truly believe janet has completely kept her word great hmm. it's possible everything's no, no. possible you know she seems she seems she's, trustworthy. She's a trustworthy woman. Yeah. Yeah. From what we know about her. Yeah. For, as well as you know her, you know she's trustworthy. As well <laughs> yeah. as I know her. <laughs> exactly. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> uh, I'm a gecko. Do you? Oh, is, you always look like that. Okay, I didn't know if it was just for the day or it's that his was your thing. normal attire. Do, uh, it's very attractive. Thank you on very you. much. Thank you. I'm sure you don't look as good in normal coloring. You're not, you're not trying to break this 36-year um, streak <laughs> of being faithful, are you? Yeah, yeah it, it sounds a little bit like you're, you're hitting right. on me. If, are you if willing to risk it all for a gecko? <laughs> for a gecko. I tell you. No, hey, Janet no, can come, no. man. I, but you notice how I had to hesitate because it just seems like, I, because frankly, what I've done in my life has not included geckos, okay. reptilian in any way, okay. other mammalian than you. Than a, <laughs> all human. All human. No, all humans. Always been human. Yeah. You okay. Know. Wait. So are you, uh, does Janet ever come visit you while you're here? Yeah, doing no, this? No, she doesn't. Janet's not well, and so it's very oh, difficult oh, for I'm her. I'm sorry to, to hear around. that. She knows she could come, she could get this far, but she would, I stand there for three hours with three a half hours. hour break, and she could not do that. So she knows about it. It's, Janet gets the report every day, I Aww. call it. In fact, I'll see her later because we have a thing with one of her pets. But in any case, I will see her later, and I report about the, the highlights of the day. You guys uh -huh. are the second, not the crime highlight. What was the What's first the crime highlight? A, crime a woman from Michigan came up to me with her husband. May, may I take your picture? Yes. May I take a picture with you? Yes. May we both take your picture? Yes. May I, may I video you? Yes. And then she said, I have a question. Are you single? And I said, no, I've been, I'm single technically, but I'm the same woman for 36 years. Why do you ask? She said, I wanted to set you up with my best friend. Whoa. Ooh. And I thought, oh my, Janet has to hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> really? do, you, do, you know, do you know any details about this friend? Did no, she tell, no, no. I asked if she had naked. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. At, at my age, you do not want to see naked pictures of the people people think are appropriate for uh, you. Okay. Believe me. All you guys maybe, me not. Mm. <laughs> Interesting, but that was still a, more of a... But we tried to set you up with a gecko. That's the gecko. Come on. Pretty good. Yeah, no, you guys get reported, of okay, course. And I make a little note at okay. the end of each we'll day. Uh, oh, you write it down? I do because a friend of mine, as a Christmas gift, gave me a book jacket that he mm. made up. And mm. it says $1.10, because that's what it cost me, senior fare, to come here from Arlington. Oh. And he said $1.10. And then it says the memoirs of a man who stands in front of the White House. Whoa. Could, could we hear like a brief, like what is, what's going to be your retelling of well, this? Well, my, my, yeah, my, well, yeah. I was also wondering, you don't, do you have email and stuff? I do. You should email us a picture no, of, the, of the thing you write in your what, journal. What I today. don't do is communicate with anybody I meet here uh, outside of here. Oh. The reason is I Damn. meet probably casually meet 50 people a day right. and I could never honor my commitment right. to talk to these people sure. keep up with these oh, people okay. and plus I like my anonymity you know yeah. I didn't yeah. give my last name that's fair that's fair uh, it's just but you did talk about everyone you've had sex with in fact when I when I take your dollar which I know you're going to give me I'll give it to the people at the peace vigil okay great although house is so white what about it we do an ad now Oh, okay. I think we're gonna think of talking of thanks for Butcher Box. Thanks, Butcher Box, for sponsoring this episode of our show. If you out there are eating meat, it is very important to buy high quality meat that has better taste, is more ethical and more sustainable, and is better for the planet and the farmers and everyone involved. Yeah, and when it comes to the meat that will be this li likely the centerpiece of your holiday meals, quality matters, and when you invest in high quality meat from Butcher Box, the benefits go way beyond a great tasting meal. Cole, Cole, what's your favorite kind of meat? My favorite kind of meat is the chicken. And what do you do with chicken? How do you cook it? Oh, I put it in, the, the, chop it up. Uh-huh. Cook, cook, grill it, fry yeah. it, put what? it in pasta, put it in mac. Okay. Put it in the breast, in the breast. You do chicken and chicken? Double chicken. You, you do a double chicken delight? Yeah, that's what it's called. That is a delicious meal. That sounds really, really good. Well, if you like chicken and you like meat like Cole does. You know what turducken? 
Yeah, you do that with chicken. I do. I do a uh, Chick- cluck clucking. Cluck clucking. That's good. I personally don't eat meat, but if I were to eat meat, butcher box is the kind of meat that I would eat. It is very important to know where your meat comes from, to eat sustainable meat, to eat meat that is vegetarian fed, like me, <laughs> which the butcher box is, and to support farmers, small farmers, and contribute to a really healthy meat ecosystem. Every month, butcher box ships a curated selection of high quality meat right to your home. Free shipping for the continental U.S. There are no antibiotics or added hormones, and you can customize your own box or go with one of theirs. Either way, you get exactly what you want. Oh, there's a uh, gardener behind us. Mm-hmm. Each ho- this holiday, ButcherBox is giving new members one pack of bacon for free, free in every box, plus twenty dollars off each box for the first five months of your membership. That's free bacon for life and up to one hundred dollars off. Sign, Sign up, up at butcherbox.com slash outside. That's, That's butcherbox.com slash outside. It is really important to know where your meat comes from. Butcherbox is a great and easy way to make that happen for yourself. Speaking of meat, I don't know. Upstart. If you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling, but Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. They do, inter- they do internet on this? Yeah, they're all plugged in. That is incredible that they do internet all over this, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. This is amazing for everyone who wants it. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash outside. That's upstart.com slash outside. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash outside. Upstart.com slash outside. outside. That's upstart.com slash outside. That is upstart. That's it. Don't even worry about it. We're going to get... No, Cole keeps wanting to say it. He gets stuck on this sometimes. We're going to have to go back to the episode because Cole is stuck on upstart mode. Stop it! How long have they been here? That vigil has been here for 40 years. That's what I thought. Look at that. That is so interesting. Those guys, not all of them, obviously, but a group of people. Wow. Wow have kept that vigil for Wild. 40 years, Wild. night and day. Wild. They, be- they, they started off believing in um, anti-nuclear, the nuclear war 40 years sure, ago. Sure, wasn't, sure. What, it's much more of a threat now, but, but they, they thought not, of it more they, then. They we're not talking about it now. Right. I've read, listened to and, podcasts and about it. And so they believed that it was super dangerous and super threat to this country, and they started having a vigil. Right. And in those days, you could set up a structure on the mall and have a vigil Mm. and then during the beginning of the reagan era they said nah structures on the mall is going to make it look like Mm. um you know tobacco road it's like not okay Mm. uh so no more structures on the mall clear away the tents and these guys had a permit Hmm. and they said we have a permit our understanding and they had aclu lawyers and everybody is that if we keep to the agreements then we can renew the permit in mm. perpetuity. So what they said was, okay, but you can never abandon that vigil. Wow. And so 40 years, a group of them, a relatively small group, right. dedicated great people, including Neil, who's the guy you probably awesome. can see Awesome. Yeah, he's right now. there, yeah. That's Neil. Uh, they have been sharing that duty. Wow. And they're just, I love them. They've yeah. become very, very... Um, cause oriented and so every good cause sure, that comes stuff, by they put stuff. up a new sign I, see Black Lives I know they've here. diluted their message doing that I don't ever want to join them I will stand there while they go to the bathroom mm. or something okay. or get a snack well, but I don't want to ever join them because I understood. can't make that commitment and I don't equally agree with all the signage sure, and all sure, the sure. issues mm. well we want to say thank you so well, much for sitting you. down this has been yeah. truly this a pleasure is, well this is fun for me uh, the hate won't make America great is a little message that I took a long time settling on because I think children can understand that yes. it has universal appeal and it doesn't offend very many and it same people and it even rhymes yeah. look you how you think my cold fun. reptile heart warm. <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts or words of wisdom you want to leave the audience with? Well, I, the, uh, in fact, Neil asked me about podcasts. I don't know squat about podcasts, but I said my understanding is that a society that lets more people speak out is a healthier society. Mm-hmm. So you guys seem sane. I didn't think you would yes. be, frankly. Thank I thought you. you'd be all joking. You know, no, no, we like to I, joke. If but I was doing this, I'd just be mooning people and doing every craziness. <laughs> well, I'll so, get you arrested. <laughs> I don't get arrested. 
I know these guys. I snap my fingers, they come over and beat the hell out of you. Whoa. No, I just made that up. I made that up. I made it up. I'm kidding. I'm then. kidding. You know, there's microphones other than these microphones on us at all times. Yeah. So I was kidding. I let this beautiful young woman take over. Um, well, that was so amazing. We want to give you a dollar well, and a sticker you. and say thank you, say so thank you for and sitting as I down. I said, I'll give the money. Yes, I'll yes. I'll put the dollar in Neil's. Uh, okay. Great. Thank take you. care. Bye. Be well. And you, yeah. Man, I had no idea the people in D.C. were so political. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's because you live under a rock, right? I live in uh, various forests, deserts, and cold mountain slopes. Okay. Right. We got this woman's waiting in the wings patiently. Yeah. And also, real quick, for the listeners or anyone watching this, if you're in D.C. and you see Martin, Marty, uh, take a picture and send it to us. Yes. And tag us in it, because uh, I want to see how many other uh, of People, our yeah. fans uh, see him. See him. And Tell him. him. The, yeah. If you see him, at the, he comes here every day. Tell him you heard him on podcasts, but outside. I want him to think. I want him to like think that this is the biggest thing he's ever done in the world, <laughs> <laughs> and I want him to get bombarded every day. Hello, how are you? Ask him about his sex life. Yeah, ask him about his sex life. He's very open about it. Hi. Hey, how are you? What's up, dude? I'm good. How are you guys? What's your yeah. name? My name's Holly. Holly. Hi, Holly. And yours? Good. <laughs> what, are you, what are your names? Good. I'm good. good. That's Andrew. I'm Andrew Cole, and that's Lyle. Oh, I'm, Lyle. A ge- I'm a gecko. All oh, right. Yes, that's. I was gonna ask if you were a gecko. I saw the little, yeah. the round things on your fingers. Oh, th- so. no, these are my. They're just, they help me climb up walls. They're sticky, right? Yeah. Well, these aren't. But <laughs> so, what's up with you, Holly? Where do you live? What do you do? Um, I have been living in Europe for the last couple of years. Wow. I'm from Nebraska originally, oh. so oh, I'm just visiting exotic. DC to uh, Nebraska. Settle visa stuff, get that And then go back to Europe? Yes. Where yes. in Europe? I currently live in France, in, in the south oh. of France. Ooh. Where? Near Nice. Okay. It's a, kind of a small town near Nice, yeah. What do you do for work? Um, right now, I'm unemployed. I'm okay. looking for a job, which okay. has proven to be a greater challenge than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been employed in France? No. Um, it's really difficult as an American citizen to get a job abroad because they kind of have to prove that you are the only person, right, qualified even in the Euro- European Union, yeah, that can do it. Can so, I ask right. you something? I thought it was called Nice France. Am I? Is that a common thing or am I stupid? That's how that it's spelled, but um, it's Nice okay. Yeah, in, okay. uh, in the French language. So do you speak fluently? French? No. Okay. Um, so, I s- okay. What do you speak? I speak Spanish and Italian. So I got to get this Davero. straight. You've been in France for two years. No, no, no. You one d- year. Okay. One year. Don't speak French. Don't have a job. Right. What's up with that? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> it's a complicated story, actually. Okay. Um, I was working as an au pair. Okay. Uh. And I was working for this insanely rich family. And um, I told them that I wanted to visit my family in the summer um, mm-hmm. because my friend was getting married. I hadn't seen my family in two years because of COVID. And she kicked me out of her house um, with less than 24 hours notice. Wait, what? Why? Because uh, you said you wanted to see your family? Yeah. Was this in France? Yes, this is in France. And so, um, yeah, I moved in with my boyfriend. and You still with him? Yes. So you're living with him. That's that's what yes. anchors you there. Yes, okay. that's that, what that anchors sense. me that's there. That's the answer it. I was seeking. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. It's, that makes sense. I understand now. I understand. How he's, did you guys meet? Is yeah. he French guy? No, he's Italian. Mm. Um, but we met. So I was living in Madrid two years ago. And then COVID hit and... Lockdown was kind of rough in Madrid, mm-hmm. so I my friend asked if I wanted to move to Nice for the summer, and mm. I said absolutely. And then you I met your boy toy. Met my boyfriend, yes. And <laughs> not, not how I would put it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I decided to stay. Actually, I decided to stay after knowing him for about two weeks. Does, does he oh have a gig? Gosh. Yeah, he's a scientist. Oh. Yeah. What kind of science? He's a seismologist. Mm. Well, studies earthquakes. Yeah, I know. Studies size. That's cool. Huh. So. I also think Measure it's interesting things. to go to France to be an au pair because au pair is a French word from about French people that come here to do that for <laughs> Americans. Uh-huh. So that's kind of interesting. They, like, they shouldn't call you an au pair. They should call you like a child watcher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a child guard. A child, child guard. guard. Yeah. yeah. It was fun for when I did it, but the situation it was... It ended it poorly. Wow. Yes, extremely. Do, was it one like group of kids or were you like did did you babysit like multiple groups of kids it was one family mm. so okay. like an au pair is like a live-in nanny mm. right so did you like all the family uh, they betrayed you you don't have to be they honest they betrayed me yeah <laughs> was it was there awful. Some drama there? So like what yeah like, what, how what exactly did she say to throw you out 
Oh. Like, what, how would that conversation <laughs> go down? Give me a play by play. Oh, it wasn't a conversation. She actually, I, so on the weekends I would spend with my boyfriend. And so when I left on Friday, I had told her on a Tuesday and I told her two months in advance. And on our agreement, instead of the au pair was to leave, she was to give four weeks notice. Mm-hmm. I gave her eight. Yeah. Right. And I told her on a Tuesday. For one weekend. No, it was for a month. Oh, okay. Understood. No, no. I mean, because if I was coming back for sure, sure. the first yeah. time in two years, I sure, wanted sure. to be okay. yeah, Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, yeah, I told her on a Tuesday. She didn't speak to me all week. And then Jesus. when I left for my boyfriend's house on Friday, um, she sent me like a two-page long email just attacking my character, saying how horrible of a person I am. In English? English or French? Yeah, yeah English. They're, they're Irish. They okay. weren't even French. Oh, wow. Mm, that's yeah. why they were so rude. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> okay. They're really the only Irish people that I know. So. Yeah, so that's all you have to face <laughs> yeah. on. No, I, I, all the Irish people I've met have been nice and didn't kick me out. Ah, that's good. That's huh. good. So the so Irish th- goodbye to you. <laughs> they did. <basically. laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> they absolutely did. Yeah. So then you moved in with your boyfriend. Yes. Was he kind of like, well, I was just hoping Saturday, Sunday. Or was he down? No, no, he was super down. Okay. So you are visiting D.C. doing. Are you just like here and then you're going to see family and then you're going to go back to Europe? No, um, my best friend lives here, thankfully. Mm. So I have to request my visa from here for mm. France. And um, yeah, I'll be staying here for a little while. And I'm actually not going back to Nebraska this trip, but I'll be going down to Peru. Uh, my boyfriend's there doing a research. What is up with Peru? Peru's we popular. had two Peruvian yeah. guests today, and we had two Peruvian guests last night. Wow. We're just okay. visiting as well. We don't live here, but that is so strange. Yeah, so I'll be yeah. going there for a few weeks and then back to France oh. with my boyfriend. So. Wow. Hey, Holly? Yes. Where do you think we go when we die? Um, I mean... Matter cannot be created or destroyed, neither can energy. So I think we just kind of hmm. disappear into the ether. But if you went to hell and they offered you like a, a job as like a devil whipping people, would you take that? I know who you're going to be whipping, by the way. Who? It's that Irish family. Oh, yeah, for sure. My host <laughs> yeah. mom, she's first on the list. <laughs> wow. That was the most insane thing that's ever happened to me. Do you think there was any chance that you were maybe a threat to her and, mm. and mm. her husband? No, that's the thing. Like, they, uh, no, <laughs> I don't. I think I was a threat to her ego, maybe, because mm. she was just a very sad, bitter woman because mm-hmm. she gave up her career so that her husband could start this company and make millions of dollars. I don't know how much they made, but they lived in this huge villa wow. in the mm-hmm. south of France. And you lived there as well? I lived there, yeah. Was it weird to be in that villa? Yes, because, like, she would have, she, she the mom didn't have a job. She had a live-in nanny, me. Yeah. She had three women come clean the house every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Jeez. She had uh, like people taking care of the lawn. She had personal trainers. And it, it and sounds like her job was just day. to manage these people. Literally, just like she had these little minions that right. she just like kept in order, and I just didn't want to be a part of that anymore. Really. Yeah. So, so she was miserable. Like yeah. she basically has everything, but right. she's miserable. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So it seems so common. Yeah. Yeah. Same with Bieber. <laughs> you think he's miserable? Oh yeah. Why? Just because he looks like Angelica's doll Cynthia now. <laughs> Andrew used to be one of his minions. Yeah, he said he was not. He happy. was not happy. You uh, used to be one of Bieber's minions. Not a minion. I would say more like a friend. Concubine. Uh, well. Concubine. <laughs> whatever. I, whatever it was, it was not good for me or him. I'll say that. Okay. It's very toxic. Okay. Yeah. When was this? This was when he Tw- was young. Yeah. Bieber tw- was like 12. <laughs> Bieber was 12. <laughs> no, I don't know Justin Bieber. I'm just kidding. Oh, only man. Only person I know is um, you and then you guys. That's the only people you know. <laughs> That's pretty much the three people I know. <laughs> and this guy that said uh, hate will not. No, don't know him actually. Yeah, okay. forgot about him. I Do you it. have a lot of friends, Holly? I think so, yes. Have you made friends in France? Um, Love kind that. of. It's it's difficult to make friends during a pandemic, I yeah. think, and also. If you don't know the yeah, especially if you believe in it. Do you think that you are a good person to be friends with? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't believe in it, very easy to make friends, <laughs> especially because you already know you agree on one thing. <laughs> I I think I'm a good friend. I think yeah. I'm very empathetic and loyal and kind, okay. and I try to treat my friends with respect. Hmm. You seem very kind. You were patient and waiting. You're very lovely sitting down. And we honestly just stan you, 100%. Thank yeah. you. We Thank stan you Holly. We stan Holly. You guys are very nice. I just, 
I actually took a picture of the White House and then I looked at my picture. We were in the way. <laughs> no, and I saw this. I saw this and I like I scrolled in and it said, we'll give you a dollar. And I said, well, I could probably use, use a, a dollar. Yeah. So I, especially, I yeah. don't have a job. No job. Yeah, this is basically your job right now. Wait, we never asked, what would you want to do? What's your ideal thing that you want to do? <sighs> I mean, I would really ideally love to do like event planning. Mm. I, that's something... I'm very, I'm a people person, you know, I'm really like good with organizing things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the language barrier in France yeah. mm. right now. So that's my, my number one goal right now is to but, like learn but French. But you know what? Like there's a thing that like, I mean, the South of France is very like, it's like a very classic place for rich people from around the world to go to. Oh, yeah. And English is like the universal language in a lot of countries. So you could m- find a niche for yourself, a niche in Nice. Nation. Of being mm. an, an English language event planner for weddings or events. That could totally work for you, actually. That could work. That could set you apart and make you actually more successful. Yeah. Something to think but about. But yeah, I mean, dealing with the vendors and sure, stuff. Sure, I understand that. that. That's tough. That's tough. Turning I would need weaknesses a French, into like, strengths. Yeah. I would need like a French, maybe like business partner. Like or, a, or like a whole like kind of team of servants. Like, yeah, like your like old boss to have. <laughs> yeah. Post mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that could be good for you. Huh. Yeah, but that's my, that would be ideal. But I, I graduated with, the, with a degree in like advertising and marketing. So I'm looking for mm. jo- like remote jobs with U.S. companies that I could do from there. Got it. So. Huh. Well, yeah. we will go to France one day. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Right. You absolutely should. You ever eat snails ever? Um, Escago. That's cuckoo. <laughs> um, I ate snails in Spain, actually. I haven't had any in France yet. What do you eat, actually? I eat uh, bugs. Like what kind? What's your favorite bug to I eat? I like crickets. Mm. They have these new. They have these crickets that they like powder in a uh, barbecue cheddar sauce. No, no, it's not sauce. It's like a powder. That's not nat. That's not natural for you. It's good though. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is a, is a president coming in? I hear a helicopter. I hear a helicopter. I hear a chopper. There's helicopters every yeah, I feel like he's never, minutes. isn't he never here? He's always like at, in some other place. Maisie! Is that the dog? Maisie! It's his granddaughter. His granddaughter. Uh, she sorry. follows us on TikTok. Oh, nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have any final words of wisdom or advice to leave? You're the last guest of the day, so we're going to end the episode together. But oh my gosh. Wow. That's a lot of pressure. I no, feel. you've done a, You've been a really fantastic guest, truly. Well, I mean, just be kind to everyone you meet because you never know you never know what their life is like or yeah. how they could help you and they might uh. be secret service and they shoot you if you're mean that is true yes. do they shoot people who are just mean yes yeah. really yes. a lot of people we know died from being mean to secret service wow mm-hmm. that's tragic a I'm lot sorry. of people I'm sorry that's why I know that. so few people because <laughs> everyone <laughs> I knew died. got killed by <laughs> secret service for being mean <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. totally sucked. Yeah. Oh look, uh, Marty's uh, w- holding post for the. Uh, oh, he said he would never join them. He's holding. He's he said he'd wa- he said he watched their thing if they go to the bathroom. Or Great something. photo op for Marty, by the yeah. way. Yeah. That is awesome. I love Marty. I love uh, his glasses. Yeah, Holly, we gave great. you that flyer, but we're also going to give you a sticker. We'll give you two stickers. You can take one to France and a, doll- and a dollar. There's that dollar that you Thank were promised. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, guys. and then Lyle, we're going to give you a dollar and a sticker. Oh, sick. And we're going to give you the flyer for the show that you're all on right, tonight. I'll think about it. I might come. <laughs> you might come. Wait, I have a question for you, Lyle. What's up? Are you going to be wearing this all day? Oh, yeah. Because the show's at seven, which is like seven hours from now. Yeah, I'll chill, dude. I you're gotta, just going to be. I'm going to w- go on a geck walk. Well, at least it's not too hot. You won't like yeah. sweat. Well, we want to take you to lunch oh, right now, and then. Beautiful. We're going to go to our Airbnb. You're welcome to join us. And then we have to be at the venue. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Um, this was truly so fun. Yeah, this was great. Yeah, this was, fun, this was like a really fantastic episode. We love DC. We love the White House. We love you, Maisie. <laughs> <laughs> Is this okay to say Maisie so much? I she, uh, hopefully she sees it. <laughs> okay. I think we're, we're like plotting something. <laughs> no, yeah. just the only reason we know is because someone DM'd us and told us that. All right. Um, I guess... I guess God bless America. We still don't know why they shut down this street, but... We don't know. Hey, Thank c- you for watching or listening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Want to end on Marty there? Yeah, go end on Marty. Bye, Marty. Wave. Yeah. Hey, do you guys not have a tripod? No, we use a person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a great episode of the show. Makes me want to be a sniper. No, no. It makes me want to follow Lyle for real on social media. Go check out his stuff. He has a great podcast and, you know... He's he's doing great work. Yes, and he is. We thank him for being, you know, on our Patreon episode, which is out now on our Patreon. We thank him for his service. Speaking of spa- Patreon, we're going to so we, next week is the last week that we are going to be posting here publicly for 
a month. A month. Uh, we'll be back in February. We just need a little bit of a break. We're going to take the last week in December off, and then in January we're not going to release any regular episodes of the show here. Maybe we'll post some clips here or something, but we'll be releasing episodes on Patreon every week in January and at the, and at the end of this month too. So if you miss us and you want to watch an episode of our show every week, support us on Patreon. That helps. We just need a little bit of a break. So we're going to take January off, which is my birthday month. So I'm going to be Ooh. partying like crazy the whole month. Wow. Yeah, thank you. But we will be back February, February 2nd. 2nd. But we'll also be back next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Not, why, why are we announcing this now? I don't know. Well, all right. Go watch my Corden set and make that comment. It's important. James Corden. Is that a good impression? That's really good. You should do that. Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. I haven't done the set yet, and I might replace my whole set with that. I think you should. Okay. See what happens. See you next week. See you guys. To pay you a dollar, holler from the street. Overshare a story, stick as your receipt. Hey, you want to talk? You want to keep it brief? Andrew call an intern. Podcast and done at the clean. And is it is the sex still good? No. No, it's not.